I wish you'd look at this sunrise. Ain't that pretty. You can see the ball. I've been sun gazing. That is beautiful. Man, it's not easy holding this camera still. Oh, but that's beautiful. For those that are from Ozark, Missouri, you might know where I'm at. If I pan back this way, show you that old water tower. That's the Catholic Church. And down there is the sign for the school. This is the big hill I start off with every morning. Ah. Oh. That is so cool. Well, I'm going to keep sun gazing for a few more minutes until I can't do it anymore. But I just thought I'd videotape this beautiful sunrise. It's one of the best I've seen all month. Let me say this about a flat earth. A lot of people think uh, <laughs> I'm a flat earther because I posted some things about flat earth. But I also posted some things about a guy making fun of the flat earth that used a lot of math and, and you know, really common sense understanding to kind of like debunk it. So I'm still like making my mind up is what it is what is not but like looking at this sunrise it almost makes me believe the earth is round <sighs> I wish we could know these things let me see if I can do this real quick yeah I wish we could know these things and come to a real true understanding of what is you know, when we say something is, we want to say that we know it for a fact. And there's so much that we don't know for a fact. So, if sometimes I get a lot of criticism, I shouldn't say a lot, because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even read the comments. Very seldom do I even act on any, like, respond or anything. It, I've got videos that has thousands of comments. I don't even got a clue what they're talking about. I don't look at it. I'm dyslexic. So the less that I can have to read, the better. If, I, if it is something like a comment or somebody sends me a message or a private message or something like that, I go to uh, speak it in Chrome and I have Chrome read it to me. But um, what was I saying? Oh shit, it's too early to talk about anything right now. <laughs> Alright, I'm more sun gaze. I still got a little bit of sun out there. Take a look at that. Because once it comes up, it turns white. And it's getting ready to start turning white. Yep, it'll turn white. You won't be able to look at it. All right, I got a sun gaze. Well, I got a chance. Well, well, I think today's July the 18th. Looked like they got it. They ought to work yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. Yeah, you can see the drywall going up. Yeah, just judging by what I see, um, I don't think they worked yesterday, but I don't know. I know this is one example of uh, living in Ozark, Missouri. See that? that little ladder there that is a like a pool ladder and in a big city that would have been gone you see this wood in a big city 
that would have been gone. Them doors would have been gone. But in Ozark, Missouri, you got thieves, but they not the kind of dirty thief that, you know, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I'm just saying, they some thieves that are professional thieves, and then there's thieves that just do it to, you know, sometimes pay their light bill. But I just thought I'd mention that. Hell, I don't even know why I'm saying that. It don't make no sense anyway. But I got to get on up the road. I'm going to zoom in on that tower with this camera. Boy, there is a difference, I reckon. All right. Well, I wish you'd look here. They're fixing to put a roof on this house right here. They got the roof of material out there. They might have done the tour off yesterday, and I didn't see them, didn't ride by here. But for those of you that know where I'm at, I'll show you a little bit of the water tower is right over there in between them two trees. And these are beautiful homes back here. But they're fixing to put a roof on it. Well, I guess I'll maybe see them later on today. If they're working, I'm pretty sure they will be. All right. I'm stirring the dogs up, so I better go. Well, I wanted to show y'all something that I, I don't, I haven't really talked about very much. But right back there, there is a shop being built. And I want you to look at it and see that it's not a pole barn but it's a shop. But it could have been built like a pole barn, but it wasn't. It was built like a shop. So they put a lot of wood in the framing. Now that, people, will withstand some pretty good winds. Now these pole barns, I'm, I'm gonna have a video of a pole barn coming up here in just a minute after I get up this hill and cross in in go down a dip and come up Hidden Valley Springs and um, I'll show you what that looks like but you might know where I'm at when you see these houses and the road behind me goes to James River or pretty much to James River but I'm zooming it one more time I don't know if it's focusing or not I can't tell huh alright that's enough of that. Well, I'm up here a little closer to it. It's actually behind this house right here. And the lady told me the other day, as I was riding by, that uh, that was a shop. And um, it looks like it's being framed out for a house, but it almost, but it, it looks different. So that's not a pole barn shop. That is a shop. Uh, I think I'm going to go around there later today if today or tomorrow, and I'm going to get video from the other road coming in so you can see it a whole lot better. Wow, they got a lot done. I think they're hauling off some of their equipment. Got it looking good. It's going it's gonna to have two doors. Don't know what that white stripe is in the middle of it, but it's something. Can't zoom up real good with this camera, but uh, if you notice, this is the guy that told me to stop filming. So I'm staying way off of him. But if the homeowner is out there, he ain't no way he's gonna say nothing to me. And look, I'm not saying nothing to them. But you know where I'm at. Oh, look at them beautiful flowers. Wow. Well, everybody, it's Buddy. I'm on County Line Road, and um, I can't tell you the intersections because I can't never seem to remember them. But I want to tell you this. This person here has kittens to give away. They're really cute. Now, if you come up County Line Road, you will see where I'm at. Mm, cottonwood is back that way cotton cottonwood road so come on up here now that's the old wooden barn that's so beautiful and uh you'll see where i'm at let's get these kitties a good home 
and um, hopefully somebody sees this that wants to talk to this lady and gentleman about spading and neutering their pets. I don't want to enter into that conversation with them, but um, I know this ain't the first time I've seen her give kittens away. It's about the maybe second or third time. But she's an older woman and she cuts this grass herself. Yep, she's still active. Cuts this yard. This is a beautiful home, beautiful oak tree. But uh, yeah, if y'all want them kittens, come on, get them. Give them a good home. I mentioned the barn, so I can't mention it without showing you because it is just beautiful. A lot of people, they have cladded over this original look, but they have not, and I think it's cool. This is one of the older barns around here, but I think it's a work of art. All right, the kitten house is right over there. Well, hey everybody, I wanted to show you something. Uh, when I was taking a picture of where them cats are, that old barn, I was using this camera and I, it like it blinked between, I was taking a picture, so it blinked between white and dark, white and dark, white and dark, and it just locked up. I put my hand in front of it and it just locked up. But safe, luckily, I was able to come here and I borrowed paper clip and I restarted it so it's working good now I'm gonna cut it on all right now I'm doing a video okay now I'm doing a video of me doing a video so I got both cameras running now as a test and we'll see what goes down but uh yeah and Greg also gave me a, a, a clue he said I could take this paper clip and put it on my on my, on my little thing right here and that way I'd have it. So that's a good idea. Now let me say this real quick before I gotta go. Um, Conor McGregor's fighting Floyd Mayweather. I think the whole world freaking knows that. Okay, I'm gonna use the energy from that and of that to get to that. August, uh, I think the fight's August 26th. So this is July the 18th. I know I said 17 earlier, but I actually know now it's the 18th, July the 18th. So I'm going to ride as much and as hard as I can. I want to be in really good shape by August the 26th. So each day I'm going to increase something, all right? like push up, set up, uh, each day until I get to August the 26th. And then I can, you know, have a benchmark or, or like what does it take to get to peak condition? I want to get to peak condition by August the 26th. So be interesting to see how much I video and what would I what would I really want to tell y'all about what I'm doing. So keep following me and uh, liking these videos and checking back. And uh, let me see if I can go from now till August the 26th and see what my my times are and everything. I might even, in the month of August, do a double. I'll ride the bike and swim. So, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to build up to that. In a couple of weeks, we're going to see it. Be able to ride the bike and swim. All right, talk to you later. New Hope Church. That's where I am. Cars are coming. Look at them pretty flowers. Wow. He did what he said he was going to do. Today is Tuesday. Last time I seen them was, I think, Friday, and they didn't work over the weekend because I rode Saturday and Sunday, so they did all of that roof in one day on a, on a Monday. And then Monday the 17th, because today is the 18th. 
July the 18th. They're putting the floor in. They're going to have that sucker finished and looking good. All right, got to give the guy kudos. He said he could do it. All right, I just got through talking to these guys right here, and they they doing the concrete. They said, yeah, he did put that roof on in a day. And he said that he knows the guy, and if he really wanted to, he could have built this whole thing in a day. Yeah, that's what he told me. Well, well, it looks like Amish are roofing this house. So I'm going to go by kind of slow and easy. I don't want to piss them off. Wow. Man, that's a steep pitch. Morning, sorry. Hello. Mucho fast. Please like us and share with your social media. Please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our new videos. Stay tuned. This video is Creative Commons. You have permission to download, copy, and distribute it by any means.